about the boy called Madhav, when he became young man and how he set history. His father's name was Anant. His mother's name was Yashoda. He was born in 1898, 25th April. Yes, you guessed it right. We are going to speak about Dr. T. M. A. Pai, founder of Syndicate Bank, known as Madhav Pai, known as Tunse Madhav Anant Pai. Elder brother Upendra, another elder brother Purushottam, and grandfather Ranga Pai. The childhood was a difficult childhood. His father was doing almost nothing. His father was the fourth of the ten brothers and sisters. And Ranga Pai, who was a regular villager with some land holdings, some side uh, businesses, some Brahmin priesthood, was ruling the entire joint family with an iron hand. Madhav learned the agriculture. Madhav learned what is the rural economy. Madhav learned what is the rural society and how it works and how to make a living among stiff competition for attention in a large family where 10 children of Ranga Pai along with their children, along with their wives were sharing the same household. Madhav Pai's childhood was marked by disruption of studies. He was first sent to a Catholic school. Then Pais found that it is against their Brahminical traditions. So they withdrew him and he didn't study for a while. The house was so crowded that he always used to go to his mother's place called Kalyanpur, which is nearby and he used to spend uh, the schooling here, there and coming back, he used to study, he used to help in agriculture. By the age of nine, adept at things which are domestic. But two things, two socks were waiting for him. At the age of seven, the family patriarch Ranga Pai died. And when he was nine, he lost his father, Anand Pai. Mother Yasoda was right from the age of nine, a big influence on him. And because the father was almost doing nothing, so elder brother Purushottam started a business called P.A. Pai Associates in Udupi. And the boy Madhav, along with his studies, started helping in business. And there, in addition to his childhood, where he understood completely the agriculture, rural community, family life, how Brahmins behave, how different castes behave, he started learning business, how business is conducted. He used to go help his brother. And this, this thing, the business of P.A. Pai Associate, P.A. Pai Brothers, was completely aimed at weaver community. So he started understanding how the entire value chain of weavers work. He went for doing his PU, but again he disrupted it when he learned that his own old primary school is about to be closed. He didn't go to school for two years and started collecting money to revive this school. Again, at the very young age, he had to face the difficulties of asking people for money for a bigger cause. So haltingly he continued his studies, he helped his brother, he helped uh, his ancestral property, agriculture, rural, business, everything went together. Then he joined in Christian Medical College. And those days there was hardly anybody going from this area to study medicine. And he graduated at the age of 27, when he in 1925, which as you can see is very late, but he came back with a contract from a Hong Kong agency that let me go to Hong Kong and set up a medical practice there because Hong Kong was a colony which was growing and good money was there. But the mother told there is enough people who are sick here, you can do your business here. So he came back and started doing his practice in Udupi. His brother Upendra was a maverick. The eldest brother Purushottam set up a business in which he was working. But Upendra had different ideas. Upendra first started a cinema hall in Udupi. Then he started building constructions and building work from waste products. He started a carpentry unit and one day stealthily, God knows what happened to him. He went and registered a bank in Madras. And he came back and told the brothers that I have registered a bank and let us start a bank. Now Purushottam Pai was busy in business. Upendra Pai was a maverick, he has great ideas. It fell upon Madhav Pai or TMA Pai 
to put this business together he made a promise and started canara banking and industrial syndicate which became syndicate bank later on more of this later but let us understand how he set up something which is completely entrepreneurial when government hospitals were the rule of the day he started what is called a nursing home pai nursing home he also brought in something called doorstep delivery of medical services he used to go from door to door give service and during that time he saw the poverty of people he saw that the nutritional deficiency was the major cause for which people were suffering in the whole area and that gave him that human touch which was to be of great use when he went forward no time was wasted in establishing his practice by the year 1927 28 he was earning between 1500 to 2000 rupees a month when senior government servants were getting a salary of 200 rupees a high school headmaster was getting 30 rupees a munsif was getting 40 rupees he was earning 2000 rupees a month and most of it you know he tried to channelize to various other activities in this he brought in his own brother upendra pai of course who was there he became the first manager managing director and chairman of the bank that he set up he brought aman kudwa who was an engineer who was a transporter as member of the first board so baman kudwa is brother upendra pai whose son ta pai later became chairman of syndicate bank and become industries minister of india and also become heavy engineering minister and become lic chairman was the son of upendra pai so in this family the banking called syndicate bank came up a mischief competition there were eight banks in this area the big four that is syndicate bank the canara bank the corporation bank and kanarga bank were there there were four others two of them went into liquidation and two of them got merged into canara and syndicate but again thriving for existence and survival and growth amid stiff competition gave him the idea of innovation first thing he did was that he made the banking habit popular amongst the people in a young age of around 27 28 he went from door to door making people understand the power of compounding it is told that he he took only the spare money out of a fish woman and when after 4 years he told that because of power of compounding the lady has 500 rupees the lady was not only completely dumbstruck only thing she could say was that please don't tell my husband that i have so much of money another thing that he launched was doorstep banking again innovation to thrive in competition was the pygmy deposit scheme and in the age of competition he adopted selling tactics like lotteries like lucky draws like you know giving additional rate of interest and pygmy deposit scheme became so popular people with small savings it is told that one small trader with pygmy deposit that is daily deposit he got so much of money with interest that he built a big house and he named the house as pygmy house today even pygmy deposit scheme bears the testimony of the innovative kind of banking he also made schemes for farmers for smaller people created a veritable institution for all people to bank with so this was dr t m a pai for you a doctor by profession but honed in rural economy knowing family life understanding the community giving them innovative banking products giving doorstep banking using innovation to get over stiff competition and creating a world class organization i am sure his life is inspiring and all of us will continue to be inspired as long as the name syndicate bank or canara syndicate exists thank you very much